what is up reviewies hey we're in seattle doing those road trip and reviews uh we're uh went into the chihuly glass museum awesome time you should check it out then we hit up we're hitting up the bar at chihuly uh let's see what we can find heard it's some um, good dining good eats let's go check it out welcome to the review board sit right down and just enjoy before you go out and buy these are the guys the welcome to the review board sit right down and just enjoy jake joe Dee, puff and the boys are on the review board welcome to the review board yeah here we are at the chihuly museum bar aka the bar used to be known as the Collections Museum. They have a lot of collections around here and the tables and everything. There's some clocks and whatnot. And they all belong to Dale Chihuly, who also, a uh, famous Chihuly quote you might, uh, was that he said that Porsche was a, the greatest American art of the 20th century, or no, the greatest art of the 20th century, not American. <laughs> I'm misquoting him. Go Google it. He said something about Porsche. All right, so what are we enjoying here? Some uh, Pilchuck fish and chips, named for the Pilchuck Glass Studio, and uh, double decker sliders with a little mustache on top. Look almost exactly like the ones you'll see at the top of the Space Needle sometimes. And a uh, bolognese, very delicious. How was that, Paul? Very good. The, 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 the sauce, the ragu is very meaty and creamy. The pasta is cooked right. The bread is perfect. And what do we think about that beer batter? It's good. It's a little different than I expect, so I'm not ready to quite give it a rating until I give it a little bit more thought. You're like, I'm going to eat another slice. Yeah. I am going to finish it. All right, guys. Also, deep fried pickles stuffed Ooh, with blue olives. olives. Wow. What? Pickles? Olives. I'm glad I'm corrected. Stuff a pickle. They're Try that one. Deep, it's a lot easier to stuff an olive. Mm -hmm. Blue cheese, deep fried. Very unique. I mean, obviously, if you don't like olives, you're not gonna like this. I enjoyed that. Truffle covered, fresh cut, deep fried potato chips. Really enjoyed. I mean, it's dripping. I mean, Wagyu beef, two sliders in there. I mean, I've never seen double stack sliders. I might only be able to eat one of these. I'm seeing if I can get Eli back on the sauce. Mmm. <laughs> Close up for my special reviewee there. Mm, another bite just for good measure. That is really good. Pretzel bun. Oh my goodness. Okay. I highly recommend that. Oh, and this was fun. House made soda, pomegranate, grapefruit, and uh, champagne vinegar. That sounds like a weird combination. Kind of like a shrub. It's very delicious. Chowder was good. So, in on this fish. laser too thin. Yeah, pretty thin. We decided it needed to be a little thicker. It kind of flakes apart. Super salty, and we think we put our finger on it. Possibly a little heavy-handed on the Lowry's seasoning salt. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Still, we're gonna eat the whole thing because we're not gonna <laughs> let it go to waste. Um, but I'm definitely the Wagyu burger. I mean, 9.8 out of 10. Wow. It's also been a long time since uh, you've seen this boy eat a burger, so <laughs> that might just be it too, but it is really tasty. Cool. Your Chihuly ticket also gets you into the Space Needle. Let's go. That's way up there. Printing from the 1950s. Is it wax? 
kind of relaxed. It's a plastic, but it's really low temperature plastic. Isn't it exciting? I know. Am I going to get to see something here? I see yes. something happening. The VOCs are making me hallucinate. It's happening over there? No, it's like it's like... There it goes. Here it goes! Now it's injecting the plant, the, the, the stuff, the goo, it's dripping everywhere. Okay. Ooh, it looks like a rosin press. <laughs> I think they could work on the seals. <laughs> it seals itself, Mark. They have nobody that knows how to service the seals anymore. Yeah, right? Last time I went here, it wasn't working. Well, I'm not sure. Does it work well, the entire V deserves it. We make it go. Oh, oh. Hi, -oh. A little bit of flash. Just a little bit of flash on it. Look at that. Yeah, we're not going to push it out. See if I can. Can I try? I think he can get it. There's a there's a way. Let's get this is what's holding it. Oh my god, Mark is a champ. Oh, but I'm not getting it. Eli's got those long arms. There! Don't get your hand stuck. <laughs> that is great The content. watch was stuck, not the hand, so I'll use the watchless arm and we're good. We had to call the police to get it released. That's good content from the been, Space Needle. It happened in shop. What is it? Oh. oh. That looks just like the one in the picture. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> is it everything you remember from your yes. childhood? Well, well that's, hey, spell it out for me. Somebody, spell yes, it out. Spell in case anyone didn't tell Thank you today, you. you're one out of 10. <laughs> Mark, you gotta do the nostalgia. No stall Joe. There you go. Most of the buildings on campus today are from the World's Fair, including the monorail as well, which is right down below us. Now the theme of the fair was imagining what life would be like living in the futuristic space age of the 21st century. Here we are now. What a letdown. <laughs> Total height of the building, though, is 605 feet or 184 meters, basically a 60-story building. Up top, there's indoor and outdoor viewing. There's a cafe, beer and wine bar, all the necessities. Head down to the lower level. You'll see the rotating glass floor. That is where you exit from. Make sure you line up there on that level. The elevator will not go down from the observation deck, but we make round trips every three minutes. Here we are. Thank you. I'm in the Space Needle. I'm laying down. There's nothing below me. It's straight down. It's a glass floor. We are way high up there. It's a trip. This glass floor is wild. Approved. Here we go. Here we go. It, it looks cool when yeah, video. Oh, it's like the find a toy game, yeah. the but claw game. Hopefully I'll win some but ice hopefully you definitely win ice cream. Otherwise, <laughs> this will be a buzzkill. Oh, it's vacuuming it. Yeah, it's just not preparing it. Yeah, that's what's preparing it. I'm surprised it wasn't. And it gets close and then it drops at some point. Oh, it's a drop? Yeah. They used to use these for fine glassware. But, <laughs> but they, they had very low acceptance. Okay, that's actually needed. What flavor did you get? Orbital orange. Oh, it's rock it's hard. Like, no, it's that's just I think a cardboard layer, but I'll grab it a little bit of the outside. Cardboard here. On it. Oh, it does have the cardboard. Well, I'll just take a little sample here. Orbital orange. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Light on the palate. Oh, with a, a surprising aftertaste. I give it a seven out of ten. What is the surprising aftertaste? Cardboard. Strawberries. Cardboard. cardboard. <laughs> All right, reviewees. You saw our trip up to the Space Needle. That trippy glass floor, way up there, makes you feel a little awkward. But beautiful views of Seattle from a different perspective. Mount Rainier is off in the background, but it's a cloudy day, you can't see it. Um, hey, check out the Chihuly Museum. If you don't 
buy your ticket at the same time, bring it up to the gate. They'll still give you the discount to get up here. Make sure you do it both in the same day. It's not too bad to get to the top. Coffee, food. Uh, you can go to the restaurant, get some nice food, delicious. Um, I have to say the Wagyu burgers were delicious. The whole meal was fun. Company, definitely a 10 out of 10. I'm a little uncomfortably close. And we're the three best friends that anybody could have. When you're in Seattle, you gotta come up, check out the Space Needle. Do the tourist thing, it's kind of fun. Um, we had a blast. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. We wish everyone from the review board was with us. Mrs. Review Board, shout out. She would have loved this. Uh, but somebody's got to work to pay the bills, right, guys? <laughs> Petey Bray. I don't know. Would Bray have enjoyed these heights? All right, guys. If no one's told you today, like these views, you're a 10 out of 10. Let's go.